All right, I got to read Swamp Thing number 32. This is the uh, end of the kind of Aquaman Swamp Thing crossover. It's a really cool idea that uh, they wrote into this story about just the plant life be uh, below the sea and how uh, Swamp Thing's never really tapped into that or thought about it. And it kind of really adds a whole nother dimension to the character, which I love. And I, I, I was a fan of Swamp Thing when it started and I love that the book is still going strong. The, it, seem, it seems like there might be a lot of arguing here. I just hope they really keep up with the action of this book as well as like the science of it. it and that's what I really like about this book is they, they're able to balance both parts of Swamp Thing without making either side really boring or just all action and you know no depth to it at all. But I suggest picking this up. It was a really good read. I give it four to five Nerd Skulls.